So hello everyone. Good evening to one and all who have uh, successfully in the midst of all this pandemic and all gone and written the JE paper two and have come back. The fact that you've all gone there, taken this much of pressure under this extreme circumstances in itself proves that everyone is a winner. So we have come live to have a very small brief discussion about uh, JE paper two. We'll just uh, go through the paper very briefly, all the major four uh, important sessions in this uh, paper. So let's just uh, wait for one more minute for uh, students to join and our aspirants, other aspirants to join. And after that, uh, we'll go live. Okay. Please respond in the chat box if I'm audible to everyone. Please respond in the live chat box if I'm audible. So yes, I think uh, we can begin now. <clears throat> so we have mainly four sections. We'll just uh, go through all the four sections, okay? And uh, we'll just uh, brush through the drawing part also, which have been asked, okay? So initially we'll start with architecture awareness and uh, a few of the general knowledge-based questions were there in today's session. So there were questions which is related to festivals and things like that, like for example, Ugadi, which is, uh, the state that actually celebrates that. There were a few questions which uh, uh, we have, a few of them which we have discussed, uh, a few of them were new also, questions which are based on uh, architects. There's one interesting question on the city that's uh, situated between two continents. In fact, there are lots of cities that are situated in between two continents, but I think from the options that were given, uh, I think the answer was uh, Istanbul. Students, for everyone who is watching, if there are any additional questions which uh, you might want to share, please do share so that others can also get an idea of how exactly the paper went and all. Okay. Uh, I would also request uh, just a sound check here. Am I audible host again? Yes, sir. You are clearly audible. Thank you. Thank you. So please uh, share the link of the Telegram channel also so that they can go there and uh, vote on how exactly the question paper was and all. Okay, both Telegram channel and Telegram uh, group so that uh, they can express themselves, they can discuss and all among themselves. Please uh, let them know that in the live chat box. Yes, so coming back to architecture awareness and GK based questions that were asked in JE paper two. There was also a question on the UNESCO site in Chandigarh. There were a few monuments buildings that were given. And then uh, there was a question mostly based on planning from which draws from planning. Interestingly, in the last uh, few exams of architecture, we have seen that there is a bit more importance that's been given to planning and all. Okay, then there was a question on where exactly rock garden is. Interestingly, in India, you have lots of rock gardens. Then planned city in India, it's also union territory. I think that was one of the most easiest questions that they could ask in that particular uh, set of questions then match the following buildings uh a few of them of uh, I, I think there's only one uh monument which was a bit famous the others were not that much famous at all charbag the typical very famous mughal persian style of gardens and all courtyard were asked then greenwich meridian which sort of defines the time standards all over the world was asked where was uh i am of uttarakhand that was also asked <clears throat> and uh which of the following doesn't have domical roof? So these were the typical kind of questions that they've asked in case of uh, architecture awareness. So generally from what we have actually uh, got hold of from students, uh, most of the responses, what we have understood was that most of them said it was sort of 
okayish with a little bit more on the easier side so it was relatively a bit more easier architecture awareness non verbal reasoning most of the questions were also said to be direct the questions like uh, mostly image based questions on uh, based on the view like for example top view side view etc those kinds of questions mirror image based questions were in they were given one image and the mirror image of that after placing the mirror were asked then embedded images for particular image or a particular pattern which has been embedded in a complex image and you were asked to identify which one that was so these are the kind of uh, questions that they had asked in non verbal reasoning <clears throat> relatively that was said to be more than easy i would say most of the students said that it was a bit more of a straight forward expected sort of questions uh, that students have got the only problem was uh, you, they had to sort of scroll down the answers and all so as to get an idea of what the various views and all so that was a little bit difficult so this was non verbal reasoning and previously what we looked at was architecture awareness and general knowledge so to all the students who are listening if there is any more things like questions and all that you want to share please do not hesitate please to let us know what are that in the live chat box next uh, we would discuss about the drawing based uh, questions and for that uh, i would welcome sachin sir hello sachin am i audible uh yes sir you are clearly audible am i clearly audible yes yes your voice is clear okay 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 fine thank you thank you so much uh so about the drawing section the ga paper too so in the past years also we have been expecting some kind of topics uh to be asked in the ga uh, drawing questions so like that uh, as per our predictions or according to our calculation yes the kind of questions which has been asked was predictable the kind of topics which it has been related like uh every year there will be uh, some scene based question so this year also there was a question based on scene based questions and also uh in the uh, february session uh, they have uh, in, i think they have firstly introduced a different kind of question in which they have they will given a kind of image uh, the student have to copy uh, exactly that particular image into the drawing sheet and uh, something like that so this time also in the september session also there was a question like that uh, exactly like maintaining the uh, the the question was which was you right seeing on the image so it was something uh, similar to this particular image so what which has been uh, what we get from the student side it is something similar to the particular image which is uh, you are seeing right now so in that in that particular questions what they have been asking is that uh, you have to maintaining the proportion and using your own rendering method redraw this particular image or uh, decode this figure and do a balancing composition so it was uh, into like a, it may be an uh, it may or may not be a, a abstract so something they have also just i think as from the student side from their response what we get is like this to decode this figure do a balancing composition or maintaining the proportion and using your rendering method redraw this particular image this was uh, some kind of questions so the next question was uh, sir can you just move on to the next slide please okay so the next questions so which also uh, if some sometimes it can be predicted because in the most of the ge questions there were uh, scene based questions you have to create you have to draw some kind of scenes and also uh, the really important one another kind of question is is to create a 2d composition so they will sometimes give a certain kind of object so sometimes they will give some kind of shape so with that particular shape you have to uh what compose an aesthetically pleasing uh, 2d composition and also there will be some restriction also sometimes there will be uh, some number restriction like you have to utilize this particular shape uh, this times but uh, in this september uh, questions what was the question was create a 2d aesthetic composition using hexagon and also to create a balanced drawing with a various size of hexagon and in particular they have mentioned you have to only use you have to color the composition and uh, the restriction was you have to color with warm color so in order to know uh, what is a warm color you need to know uh, what color composition is or some color theory uh, basis what is warm colors what is cool colors so you need to know the basic color theory concept so uh, they have clearly asked which kind of composition you have to use to color this particular 2d composition also and the next question was something related to perspective try bc traditional street from your memory so this is kind of a scene based question a perspective related questions 
So every year they have been asking some scene-based questions. There will be two D composition, and I think uh, something uh, newly introduced. I don't. Uh, I think uh, in the previous past years there are similar questions, but uh, exactly recreating or uh, uh, rendering the same image was a new one. I think uh, in the February session and also this session also they have asked the same kind of questions. So that's from the drawing side. So uh, the last one was about the mathematics section. So uh, all aspirants who are preparing for the JE paper to examination. So I think um, uh, almost 50 percent of major majority of their <clears throat> what fear is about the mathematics. Uh, I think uh, as per uh, from students' response, uh, this time also math was a little bit uh, tough. It was a little bit hard, and the question was a little bit lengthy also. So that was the response from the student side also. So that's from the math side. Okay, so I think uh, <clears throat> that was it. Uh, most of the uh, topics uh, have been covered. I, I think there was a question on, yes, drafting uh, software also. That's what students are asking probably in the chat box, A2 blocks and all are asking about that. So I think the answer for that uh, should have been AutoCAD. I don't know what are the other options and all. So that would have been the best question, that would have been the best uh, this thing. Answer then there was one on uh, Greenwich Meridian and all. Yes, the uh, England would have been the best answer. Uh, some of you are saying real Nokia A2 vlogs, non verbal reasoning were a bit more easier. That's great. Uh, yes, so that is it. I think that was it. Uh, that is basically about most of the questions uh, from four sections that were asked. We'll definitely be coming up with more content uh, in the coming days. So that is mostly what we wanted to discuss. Please note that uh, we have a Telegram channel and group and all please share the link for the same host and wherein you can go there in the group you can discuss among yourselves how exactly you're finding it and all. okay so you can vote you can give an idea of how exactly it was you can also get an idea of how it was for others also because most of the students are not congregating in any particular point no so that's what we have tried to do okay so that would be it. we are not going to delay it anymore uh, further okay thank you everyone there will also be students who are preparing for tomorrow's uh, exam i think nata exam so all the best everyone those who have completed uh, they should definitely go and take a break okay they should definitely go and enjoy so that would be it from our side see you everyone and all the best uh, for all the future endeavors thanks a lot for uh, being associated with uh, think institute of design it has always been a pleasure and this exam season also it was difficult it was i know it was really challenging but the fact that everyone has put up their time to this is a standing testimony to that everyone is victorious okay so that would be thank you everyone see you next time thank you